Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your canvas in Cricut Design Space and how to make this pretty quick and easy apron project. So I'm, I already have Cricut Design Space open so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is set my canvas. Because I'm working on an apron I'm going to change it to the apron option. So I'm going to click so I get a green check mark and say done. So an apron will pop up on my screen. Now I have a new menu as you can see on the right it says canvas properties. I, it is an adult apron but it's not the standard 20 by 30. So I'm going to click to change it to a custom size and change my measurements to match the apron I actually have which is 18 by 28. Now once I have this set, now I don't want it to match, you know, ratio and proportion, so that's why I unchecked this little lock. But now that I have 18 and 28 typed in the box, I'm going to click Update Canvas, so I get a new apron that matches the actual apron that I have. So that's all set now. So I can insert my image, and the image I'm using is from the Love Day Collection, and it's um, the Kitchen Ninja image. So I'm going to go up to the search box and just type kitchen ninja because I know that's what it's called otherwise I could just search by cartridge or love day collection but I know it's kitchen ninja so I'm gonna click here so I get that green check box so it's selected you can also see that it's selected right there and I'm going to click insert images and it's going to pop up on my screen now I don't have to do any measuring because this is approximately the size of my apron so I'm gonna drag it over and make it the approximate size that I want it. So that looks pretty good. And that's about how my final project is going to look where I want it to look. So I'm done on the design side. I'm going to click go at the top menu bar and you'll see my cutting map populate with the Kitchen Ninja um, image. Now, if I was cutting on paper, I could just click go, but because I am using iron-on material, I need to check this little box here that says mirror for iron-on, and it's going to flip the image over or do the reverse. So now I'm all ready to cut, so I'm gonna go ahead and click go. Here's my design all cut out, and right now what I'm doing is weeding the pattern off of the backer sheet. So the backer sheet is still against my uh, Cricut mat, and what I'm doing is pulling out all the little pieces so that I can transfer the backer to my apron. But before I place it on the, the design on the apron, I'm going to iron out some of the wrinkles and preheat the fabric. So that way when I lay the design down, it sticks flat without any parts sticking up. Now when you place the design down, you're going to want to make sure you get it right the first time because it's hard to move once you stick it down. Then I'm going to place a dishcloth or a pressing cloth over the pattern and iron it to transfer it off the backer sheet. It's going to take longer than you think and the first time around it's better if you take the iron and set it down and then lift it to the next spot to transfer everything over. And then the pattern will release or your design will release off the transfer sheet and your apron is done.